Mike Taylor is a self-confessed dinosaur nerd. He loves them so much, he started studying them six years ago. And then, in what is the stuff of boyhood dreams, he actually discovered a brand new species. This is the bone he stumbled across while researching for his PhD amongst the vast collections in London's Natural History Museum. It had been on the basement shelves of the museum since it was dug up around 113 years ago and was unlike anything Mike had seen before. Further research showed it was part of the backbone of a new breed of sauropod, or long-necked, small-headed dinosaur. I felt satisfied because of the progress of science, and the science really is what it's all about. It's lovely to, to make up the names and it, it's lovely to be in the press, but really to advance the understanding of these animals and, and how the family tree fits together, that's what it's all about. But you must have been able to go around and tell your friends and family, oh, by the way, found yep. a new dinosaur today. It's the only part of what I do that my mother can understand. <laughs> he got from watching Jurassic Park were not enough for Mike Taylor. He now studies sauropods alongside his day job as a computer programmer. His new dinosaur dating back 140 million years has been called Xenoposeidon, meaning alien sauropod. Mike fears they may find no more than the one bone, but is hopeful his discovery is one of a new family of dinosaurs. What certainly seems to be the case is it doesn't fit into any of the groups that we know about at the moment. It's not like a Diplodocus, it's not like a Brachiosaurus and so on. So it does seem that it may be the first known representative of a new group. Which is incredible. Yeah. The man who discovered the dinosaur has every reason to be pleased with himself. Nina Nana, ITV News.